Jawan Howard, the Fab Five fame. Yep. Guy made a gazillion dollars in the NBA. I mean, he signed some big contracts. Played a long time, too. Yes. And uh, had some success at Michigan. Uh, everything fell apart this past year. He also had some health issues. He was on the bench for most of the season. And uh, as Steve DeSega told us earlier, Michigan finished in last place for the first time since 1967 in the Big Ten. I mean, think about 1967. So he was let go, fired yep. today. Yep. We also saw Jerry Stackhouse at Vanderbilt was let go. Mm-hmm. These guys are big-time players, playing the NBA, want to get into coaching. And, and I thought to myself, are the best coaches guys who weren't that talented and who studied the game, learned all the ins and outs because they weren't good enough to actually perform yes. it. Yep. Uh, and we've seen that. Uh, we have. Bill Belichick didn't play in the NFL. Nope. We could go on and on and on. Mm-hmm. Greg Popovich, Pop, five mm-hmm. championships. Did he play in the NBA? Nope. I could go on and on and on. Right. Cause that, I always bring that up whenever like guys are trying to push back on the reporters. Well, you didn't play in the league. And I said, okay, Bill Belichick didn't either. You're going to tell me he doesn't know football? Oh, okay. Right. So maybe somebody who doesn't play in the league might know something about the game. Absolutely, sure. Right. Yeah. So those guys, when you look at them, seem to be the best coaches or some of the best. I'm not saying I'd have to look hard, but there were a lot of guys who tried their hand at coaching and, and didn't work. I remember when Larry Bird was with coaching the Pacers, yep. but he had Dick Harder and Rick Carlisle as his assistants, and, and they ran the offense and, and defense. And that's what I was going to get at, you right? Because there's both sides of the coin. You can find successful coaches. But you look at say, right. Exactly. But that's the thing about – players a lot of times you go into a situation as a former player and you want to prove that you can do it alone that's not the way to do it you put yourself in a position to get a head coaching job you want to surround yourself with guys that know the game and study the game religiously wait till i give you some names yeah what you just said go ahead give me the names. i got these names okay hall of famers Mm -hmm. who failed as coaches magic johnson oh yep awful terrible Wayne Gretzky, the great one, who was the greatest hockey player ever, Mm -hmm. bad as a coach. Ted Williams, one of the greatest hitters in baseball, failed. I think he was with the Washington Senators, I think, as manager. He failed. Bart Starr, one of the greatest quarterbacks ever, failed. Isaiah Thomas, Mm -hmm. another Hall of Famer. Mm -hmm. Uh, Elgin Baylor, another all-time great, Mm -hmm. not good as a coach. Others, Kurt Renner, he's not Hall of Famer, just others. Stop there real quick. Okay. So what you just said just backs up my point. There's an ego about superstar players sometimes where it came easy for them as players. They think it's going to be that way, so it's an ego check that they don't have. You walk into the door and you run a team as a coach, any successful coach, why do you think the tree around them of names of guys end up getting head coaching jobs after? Because they're the real talent. You can talk about Bill, Bill Belichick all you want as well. The core around him, all those guys went and got a head coaching job as well. It's not just because of Bill Belichick. It's because those guys know the game. And so as a head coach, when you go into those situations, if your ego is not in check and you don't surround yourself with guys that are, you can see having longevity as being better than you as that coach, which ego has to be checked, you're not going to be successful. And, and is, is it also harder for them to, to relate to the average player. That too, yes. Because it came easy for me. Yeah. If I'm Ted Williams and I batted 402, what do you mean? You, <laughs> you Do you know what I mean? Yes. Like like Ted Williams batted 402, the last guy to hit over 400 in baseball. Yeah, that's true too. So so he can't understand how a guy's batting 231. <laughs> like I don't, I don't, what are, you, what are you doing? Right. Like at the plate. Well, right. well he doesn't have eye-hand coordination. He's not the same. If you're somebody, Wayne Gretzky, he, he's a great, as good as it gets. Uh, let me give you a couple more, yeah. okay? Uh, more uh, college basketball. Patrick Ewan, an all-time great player, failed at Georgetown yeah. miserably. <laughs> Chris Mullen, Hall of Famer, yep. great player, yep. right? Yep. Didn't work out at St. John's. Penny Hardaway, he's going through it right now. Yeah. And here's some other names of guys who were – Players who just didn't – Kurt Rambis, mm-hmm. Jeff Saturday, yep. Steve Nash, Derek Fisher. Jeff Saturday had 
should not have had a chance right. to get that job. But, but yeah, he yeah. got the job, and, and remember, he won game one, and everybody went, yeah. oh, yeah. see, uh, you just need to be a leader of men. You don't need to know coaching. You don't need uh, – and then they lost, right, and then all of a sudden that changed. Right. Uh, Art Shell, Mike Singletary, other guys who, who, who didn't – it didn't work out for him. But, yeah, I think there's got to be I, – I think guys who aren't as talented – have a better understanding and and maybe have done more research, studying where the other guys just played because pl- it came natural to them. There's plenty of guys that I played with. I know as players they would be a head coach. Who who's your friend who just got a job? You is it? Yeah, D'Amico Ryan. Yeah, you you said that. Even though he was a you know a really good pro. I mean he's a he had some Pro Bowl years. He wasn't. But you said you knew off- he could be a coach from high school. And you know that. You know guys who know the game in a different way and has patience and has, you know, they're, like I said, I'm telling you, ego is a huge thing. Right. I've walked it. I've lived it. I've seen it. Me, as a player, really good player. I would not be a head coach. But that's me being able to know that. And, you know, some guys get those jobs because of relationships, who they know. Sure. And that's where That I was Jeff Saturday. Exactly. Jeff Saturday and Ursay were drinking buddies. I mean, I, like – and he's on ESPN. He's looking at him talk football. Oh, yeah. Uh, Matt Millen, when he got the job with the Lions. Yeah. Oh, you listen to Matt Millen on television talk about football? You think, oh, my God, it's the gospel. Yeah. And then he got a job with no experience, went to the front office, and was a disaster. Arguably the worst general manager in the history of sports. Yeah, he was not good, man. He was not good. When I was covering the last one, I was covering all the Lions games. During the Matt Millen era. The Lions lost 24 straight road games. Twice! I remember you said that. I could not you believe that. twice. Yeah, I remember you said that. That's crazy. I covered every single game. You're, 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 you're smiling like you love that, nah. too. No, well, you're smiling. Well, well it's, I, I want you to get, here's the secret in journalism. <laughs> Ready, yeah. Kerry? Uh-huh. Easier to write when bad things are going on. <laughs> Okay, it's just easier and it's more stories. Right. Sometimes when a team is really good, it's hard to write about because they just keep winning. Right. That was the thing in in Detroit when I had my radio show there. That was during the Red Wings era, Mm -hmm. and they were winning a lot. Stanley Cups were really good. Mm -hmm. We could really get very little traction on the radio to talk about them because everything was great. Mm -hmm. Like what? There was no rub. What's the rub? They just won eight in a row. We could get on the air and say. How great are they? Or, right. you know what I mean? Well, like, you know, you can fix your power play a right, little bit Right, you know here. what I mean? No, they've won eight in a row. There's no <laughs> fixing of the power play. The goaltending is good. <laughs> the defensemen are good. They got a great coach in Scotty Bowman. There was nothing to talk about. They right. were great. Right, right. So, so that does happen. But um, I'm trying to think of, can you just, off the top of your head, somebody who was a player mm-hmm. Do we have any who succeeded, Rob sure. G? Sure, Steve Kerr. I mean, he's not a Hall of Famer, but Steve right. Kerr's but, a but, really but good But again, again, yeah. role player. Role player. You yeah. know what I mean? Like, those guys make the better coach. For sure. I, right? Yeah. Steve Kerr. Yeah. I agree with that. Yeah, yeah. Uh, let me see who else is playing right now. Um, I mean, Vrabel. Uh, Vra- what's going on? What? Ty Lu won a championship. Ty Lu was a, a role well, player. a role player. Yeah, Vrabel's a role player when he was in Tennessee, coached well. Right. Um, yeah, it's tough. That's a tough one. How about Jim Harbaugh? He wasn't a star quarterback. No, he wasn't but he, a star quarterback. Right. He started, yeah. though, right? He, he, oh, star- he was a starter. Right. He was yeah, a starter, but he wasn't a star quarterback. Yeah. yeah. I remember when he played for the uh, Colts. The Colts and, and the Bears. So. And, right? Yeah. 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 I mean, I'm trying to think of <laughs> star players. Um. Yeah, that's a tough one. We got we got to look into that one. Yeah. It, it, it's amazing. Uh, I, I want to find out. I, I just think it's hard – to relate when you're a big time player, I, I really believe, and you talked about ego, and yeah. I, and I do believe that that's probably the rub. Ego, patience. They don't have patience, right? That's why I couldn't be a doctor. I don't have any patience. <laughs> oh, I'm sorry. <laughs> Come on, Mary, give me that. Give me something. Mary, give me something nothing. There. Mary has nothing for me. Man, 